Ditch all the bulky gadgets because Ring X tracks everything including dynamic blood pressure, sleep, fitness, even stress. It's comfortable on your skin with a ceramic design, helps manage temperature, and has built-in meditation guides. Match your style by choosing classic black ceramic, sleek titanium, or luxurious 18 karat gold. All this in a stylish ring? That's impressive. Now before we get started and take a look at what's inside the box for the Left Your Ring X, I want to express to you that this is a prototype product, so things are going to be a bit different in the full production version, so keep that in mind as we're going through this. Now that being said, packaging does look very good for a prototype box, it's got some Leffy branding on it, nice white finish and a little chrome silver on the top, looking very good. Let's open up the top, and as you can see, we are greeted with the little charging base along with the ring already on top of it. Very nice. Now also inside the box of the prototype, we do have a little instruction manual here, although the instruction manual is only in Chinese, it appears. Keep in mind, remember, prototype. So the final version will have an English one, obviously, plus a USB Type-C charging cable, which isn't included in the prototype, but I got tons of those. Now taking a look at the charging base, we do have a USB Type-C charger right here, so that's very nice to see. Now remember, prototype, so this thing doesn't look amazing, but prototype so we're not going to judge anything right now but that being said right up top we do have the base that the ring x actually sits on to charge very very nice as you can see it slides right on very securely it's not going to fall off on its own so that's nice even though we are in a prototype stage all in all a very nice design literally just set this up on your table plug it in usb-c put your ring on it and it's going to charge up in about two hours and now that that's out of the way let's take a look at the ring itself and instantly I mean, this thing feels extremely lightweight, like like a feather almost. It's so light, that ceramic build is really showing. Now, if we take a look on the inside, we can see all the little sensors that are gonna be measuring blood pressure, heart rate, sleep, etc. Now, keep in mind, this is the ceramic black design, but it also comes in a titanium and 18 karat gold color as well. Now, the ring that I have here is a size eight, and it's actually gonna fit on my ring finger, just like so, actually a perfect fit. It feels very good, very light. I mean, that's actually very impressive. It looks good, feels good. I would forget that I'm wearing it, to be honest. It feels that lightweight, which is extremely impressive given all the sensors and everything that's inside of this smart ring. I don't know how they do it. Now, that being said, they do recommend that you wear the ring on your index finger, but you can wear it on any of your other fingers, including your thumb, except they don't recommend that you wear it on your pinky finger. So keep that in mind. Don't put on your pinky. Don't, don't rock a pinky ring, but you can rock it pretty much anywhere else. And the other thing is once you put it on, you do want to have the sensor right here on the bottom of your finger. So basically, just like so, and you're ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do to get this ring set up is go into our app store and download the Leffy app. We're going to open it up. We're gonna register our account, get everything set up. Now, one thing I would like to see change as far as the app goes already is you have to sign up with a phone number. I would prefer if you could sign up with an email address because I don't really like giving out my phone number like that. So keep that in mind. But now that we're inside of the app, it does actually look very good considering we're in a prototype stage. As you can see right here on the home screen, we have our step counting and our target is 10,000 steps a day, our exercise record, our sleep record, down here on the bottom in the middle, we can go to our devices and we could add this device. But then also over here on the right side, we have our profile. So you can upload your picture, you can put your name, then you can edit your personal data as well. So you can change your picture, your name, your date of birth, gender, height, and weight to get the most accurate results possible. But now we're gonna go back to the device page and add a device. It's gonna search for nearby devices and it should automatically be in pairing mode. And there it is, it actually found it just like that once we took it off the charger. We're gonna tap on Ring X. It's pairing, confirm pairing on the device. I can't because it's a ring, but it automatically did it for me. Paired successfully, we're gonna confirm. And just like that, we're set up. And we actually do have an update, so let's actually install it so we have the best experience possible. And about five minutes later, we got the ring updated, so not too bad overall. As you can see right here, it says we're connected and we can also see our battery status. We can find the device. It looks like it's grayed out though, so it looks like we can't do that, you know, prototype. But let's see what else we got. We can sync data. So we tap on that, it'll sync data from the ring to your smartphone. And now down here at the bottom, we have a bunch of other stuff going on here, including one click measurement, blood pressure calibration, which we'll get to, blood pressure measurement, auto measure setting, step setting, sleep setting, distribute the last model, clear calibration, firmware update, device shutdown, device reboot, and factory settings. Whew, okay. So now that we got the ring updated and set up with the app, one of the most impressive things with this ring is the blood pressure monitoring system because, I mean, think about it. Whenever you want to get your blood pressure checked, you have to do it in a doctor's office. Maybe go to the grocery store and use that big machine and put your arm in there. 
But how often do you actually do that? Pretty rarely. And blood pressure is a very important health metric they should always keep an eye on. So it's great that it's somehow able to be measured inside of this ring. I don't know, I'm a little skeptical myself, but we're gonna figure it out for sure if it works. Because the other option, if you don't wanna go out and about and you wanna do it at home, is that you need one of these, a blood pressure monitoring system. As you can see, this thing is big and bulky. You're not gonna carry this around with you on the go, although you could, you don't want to. So, you know, doing it with a ring is a lot better. Now the thing is, if you wanna do it with the ring, you do have to calibrate the blood pressure monitoring system of the ring by measuring your blood pressure with a device like this. And you could probably do it in a store too if you really have to if you don't happen to have one of these so let's actually take care of that right now so first things first i'm going to put this blood pressure monitoring device on my arm wrap it around and as you can see you don't want to do this all the time it's kind of annoying and we're going to measure my blood pressure real quick and when you do this to calibrate your blood pressure make sure you do it on the same arm that you're wearing your ring on so we're going to start it And there we go, I got my reading. It kind of looks like pre-hypertension, so definitely should keep an eye on this, and that's why we got this ring, so I can always know. Anyways, next we're gonna remove this off my arm. You can put it out of the way. We're gonna leave my arm laying down like this. We're gonna go to blood pressure calibration. We're gonna tap on ready. And now we're gonna put in our blood pressure results from the reader here. We got 128 over 79, submit. There we go, and now we have it calibrated, so now it knows, based on its reading, that its reading is supposed to be 128 over 79, and then it's gonna be able to do some math and figure it out in the future. Pretty cool, right? Science. So now we can get this out of the way, and now let's actually do a blood pressure measurement and see if it's actually accurate. We're looking for 128 over 79 or somewhere in that area. And now it looks like we got a reading of 117 over 73 with a 69 beat per minute heart rate and 99% blood oxygen level, which is pretty close to the 128 over 79 and 67 pulses per minute. So actually very impressive how it's able to do this without having to squeeze you and everything. It just lit up a little light, measured it for about 30 seconds, and we got a reading. Impressive. Now if we go back to the menu, we also have one click measurement. So if we go in here, it'll actually measure pretty much everything. So let's have it do that real quick. And now if we take a look at these results, this is actually pretty cool. We have a 67 beat per minute heart rate, 118 over 72 for blood pressure, 99% blood oxygen level, 16, I wanna say that's respiratory, like breaths per minute or something like that. We have a body temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which sounds about right. And then down here, we also have fatigue at 34, which looks like it's okay. We have our stress level at 13, which doesn't look too high. Our mental health at 38 and our pressure, I really wish the words weren't cut off, but our pressure is at 51. Next up, we have auto measure setting, and we can turn that on and have it automatically take a measurement every 120 seconds. We have step setting, so we can turn this on and it'll track our steps as we walk throughout the day, very nice. We also have sleep setting, which we can turn on so we can track our sleep while we're sleeping at night. But you know what, now that we got everything set up, I wanna do another blood pressure test back to back. So we're gonna start off with this one first and then we're gonna immediately do one with the ring after and compare the results. All right, so it looks like our blood pressure monitor has 121 over 74 with 65 beats per minute compared to the ring at 115 over 72 at 68 beats per minute. So as you can see, the results are very close together, which is very impressive considering it's coming from a ring. That's mind blowing. And now after we started running all the different measurements and walking around a little bit, if we come back to the home screen, it actually shows us pretty much everything here. We have our blood pressure right here, the last reading, 118 over 72. We have our heart rate at 67 beats per minute, our blood oxygen level at 99%. Our step counting so far, I did 96 steps, very cool. Pressure of, I'm not sure, because it's not blood pressure, but some sort of pressure, we're at 51, and it's actually on the low end, so that's good. We have our temperature at 36.5 degrees Celsius, our exercise record, as well as our sleep record. So overall, the Leffy Ring X is a very stylish ring that looks great, feels extremely lightweight and comfortable to wear, and has a ton of features like blood pressure monitoring. That's impressive, but I still don't understand how they get blood pressure from a ring where it's not squeezing you or anything. Like it's just, you're just wearing a ring. You don't have to put the thing on your arm, carry on a big bulky thing, go to the doctor. You got it right here in a ring. The temperature, come on, it told me my temperature. That's great, I'll know if I'm running a fever or something. And then we also have a step counter, stress monitoring, all that stuff inside of a little stylish ring. That's extremely impressive. 
And when you want to go charge it, you know, simply have this puck plugged in and then put it on top and it's going to start charging just like that. Very, very impressive technology we got here in a nice stylish form factor that's very small and you'll forget that you're wearing it because if you're just wearing a ring, you never really think about it. You just have it on. That's impressive. I'm impressed. Now remember, this is still the prototype version and I'm impressed with the prototype version. So when the final version comes out, it's only going to be better, which is kind of mind blowing that it's this good in a prototype stage and then it's going to be even better. I still don't understand it. But I don't care because I like that it is here and someone else understands it and was able to make this a reality. Very, very impressive. Look at this. Stylish ring and it's keeping track of all my measurements for me. Very cool.